What's up you guys? Welcome back to another adventure, another day, another trail review here in Moab. Finally made it to Moab. Got my Toyota Freak Moab hat on. So we uh, got some coffee this morning in Moab. Uh, the campground, Horse Steve campground, really, really nice like uh, for uh, general, just BLM campground. So not too much of many, just a toilet and you know, an area to uh, sleep for the night but today we're gonna go and uh, do chicken corners uh, it's a trail that we pin a few times uh, in this area but it didn't get a chance to explore we wanted to see this trail so it's really scenic from the look of it shouldn't be that long of a trail however it's uh, we'll see what else we can explore here and more but uh, yeah let's see how this trail is guys Finished with our Swiss back, we're gonna be up here enjoying the view, but uh, it continues to the left to my right, to the left here, and it's still part of the Hora Pass. You see all those cars down there. So, apparently, chicken corners at the end. This is still Hora Pass trail, but definitely the Swiss back is where it's the most complicated at the moment. Just so many people out here, a little obstacle here and there, rocky for a uh, high wooden. We had no issue doing it for high, so yeah, we'll continue right there. But you still see the potash mine, potash, potash, potash mine over there. All the way up there, down here, found this nice little area. Have a little lunch and a sandwich. But look at the view. That's amazing, guys. Sorry, my chewing. I'm starving. It's like 80s right now. It's nice and cool. Alright guys, so we finished having lunch here. I'm gonna pack up. Found a little overlook to look at that view though. It's gorgeous. We still have like seven, eight miles to go. So we're gonna continue with Hurrow Pass and it should lead us to uh, Chicken Corners towards the end. But man, what a view. Trail itself is not hard if you're on four by four. A little rocky here and there, high clearance, but we've seen like uh, pretty low jeep we're able to do this stock vehicle 4x4 should be fine all right let's see what else this trail has to offer
can go around. All right, straighten out, straighten out, now straighten out. All right, straighten out, yes. Let me see. <laughs> ah, it's just your muffler. You're good. So we stop here for a minute. This is uh, the Fork and Roll, Lockhart Basin. It's mostly a hard trail. And then uh, Chicken Corner is to the right. That's so funny. But yeah, there's a couple of rocky sections towards the end. Uh, towards the beginning, uh, near like the Hurrah Pass. <laughs> Going crazy. But man, it's beautiful. You're right near to the Colorado River. That uh, all-wheel drive that we saw were helping. I definitely was having a hard time. A couple of sandy spots, and as you see, it's a couple of rocky, steep section here. We got left, Lockhart Basin, right, chicken corners. So we're gonna go right, see if we find any chickens. Alright, we're almost done with Chicken Corners portion of this uh, trail for today. But uh, we are overlooking the Colorados right now. So yesterday we were over there. That's the Thelma and Louise lookout point. Uh, so today we're on the left side, but yeah, this is where we're, this is where we're looking at, guys. Supposedly there's a little area right here that's a little bit of a challenge off camera a little bit. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, other than that, it's, the trail's been a little rocky, steep, but uh, no, 4x4 four four high is, is totally fine. But man, what a view of the Colorado. That is just insane right now. Gosh, can't believe it. It's a little off camber over there, but it's not hard, there's plenty of space. It does look intimidating because it's like the other cliff, but like these guys are going through it just fine. You know, appease his fans real quick. That section wasn't bad, guys. It's just a little all camber. It just looks scary because you're so close to the cliff. But I got a chance to meet, uh, I think it was Panda Overland and also Beer Taco. So it was nice meeting you guys out on the trail here at uh, Moab Chicken Corners. All right, we made it to the end of Chicken Corners. Check this out. Oh my gosh. It is so cool. We're at the edge of the Colorado right now. A little, little rocky section coming down this area, but nothing any 4x4 can't do. Oh my goodness, it is so cool. Wow. It's awesome.
just slow. You should be fine, babe. Just go slow. It's gonna drop. You good? Just go straight. Go straight. They're going down shouldn't be an issue. All right, guys, we officially finished with Hora Pass to Chicken Corners. Man, this trail is really beautiful, but I like it a lot since it's, uh, you kind of need 4x4 in certain section for sure. It's definitely fun, challenging, uh, a few obstacles if you want, this optional obstacle, and there's uh, a couple obstacles you have to go through. A few options towards the, the bottom, there's uh, super sandy, so one of the all-wheel drive uh, that we were with, they actually got stuck a little bit, but they got out of it of the sand. So, yeah, Chicken Corner, highly recommend you guys high, have high clearance 4x4. I feel like it's one of the uh, cooler trail to do. Just, it's beautiful down there in the Colorado River. All right, we have another 30 minutes, so we hit Moab, grab some dinner, and call it a day. So if you guys like that trail review, content, camping, overlanding, whatever you want to call this trail review, adventure, I guess. <laughs> consider subscribing to the channel if not already and i'll catch you guys on the next adventure yeah tomorrow we got a another trail review hopefully everything works out near the san rafael swell it's an area that i've uh, been seeing a lot so this is going to be opportunity to uh, do one of the trail out there and explore that area a bit more but uh yeah that will be for tomorrow's adventure guys all right take care